All right, so we're just starting with a lunge, and you're stretching. So, oops, sorry, you guys, your right leg. So my right leg is bent. So the next time I do this, I'm actually going to get on the mat. So just hold it. Now it's time. If you want to put your arms up, you can. I'm so sweaty from the last class, my feet are actually sliding a little on my mat right now. <laughs> All right, switch sides. So whichever side you didn't do. Lunge. Really, you're trying to stretch back here, okay? Arms up. See, I turned the ICU timer down, but that means I have to pay attention, too. So it could be tricky. We'll try it like this today. <laughs> Hold it. Nice. Now, if you were near the wall, you're going to stretch your calves now. So in the back, sorry, I'm going to swipe so I get rid of the comments. I to tell you guys that. So if I had my hands against a wall, I'm trying to put my foot down in the back so that my front leg is bent a little. So right now my left leg, I'm trying to press it down and stretch my calves. You could lean on a wall and kind of get a little more into it or grab a chair. So if I had my hands against the wall, that's what I'm doing. So focus on your calves now. Okay, not bad. Now switch sides. So bend the front leg. Now put your foot down in the back. And you're trying to stretch your calves. So if I was leaning against the wall, it'd be really cool if you could lean against the wall. Get a little bit better of a stretch. Press that heel down. This is my kingdom come. About oh, ten more seconds. Look into my eyes. It's where so far, my so good. It's where my okay, so your triceps. You do not need to kneel. I'm just getting down so I don't have to move the camera. Put the arm up. Try to touch your elbow. And you're just holding it straight up. Give yourself a little pat on the back. So, so they don't feel good. Hold it. So this is for your triceps. At the mess you made. Don't wanna let you down, but I am hellbound. Though this is all for switch. So whichever side you didn't do, pretty much you're gonna do everything nice and even, so. Doesn't matter to me. Whichever side you start with, make sure you get the other side so you're not lopsided. Triceps. It never feels that someone is walking by when I'm doing something like this. Hold it. A few more seconds. I didn't want to get on the mat. Can you feel my heat? You could use a chair. So start with a nice flat back. So cat cow for about 30 seconds. So push up and relax. Try to like look up when you straighten your back. So when I do this again, I'll do it on the mat. want to kneel. You can even bend your legs a little bit if you need to when you, you can come up and then bend a little. All right, so if I didn't want to get on the mat for a cobra, I want you guys to bend a little bit. Put your arms all the way back. Press them out. So, 
torso and lift him up just a little bit. Push your chin out. So if you need a little break, bring it forward and put it back again. seconds. Try to keep your chin up. Woo. So now, fold it forward. So if I don't want to get on the mat, I'm going to fold forward or I'm going to put my feet wide, come up, and I'm going to reach for my mat. Instead of getting in a child's pose on the mat, just something option. So you come all the way down, try to touch your mat, and just relax there. Relax there for a few seconds. Relax those arms. Alright, grab onto something. So I want you to take your leg, my right leg, so I want to open it up. So I'm hanging on to something. I'm going to cross it over. So feel it out, just get a little range of motion going there, turn it, so you could grab below your knee, whatever's good, just keep that toe pointed down, go out as far as you can, then bring it back, and you know I'm going to do the other side. So cross it a little bit first and then turn it out. So relax, then open it up. Okay, if you can tolerate it, just keep it open the entire time. Out to the side if you can. Hold it. Touch your leg. I'm just not pressing on my knees so you guys realize that. Alright, feet apart, just a little breathe, reach up. Breathe, relax. This is supposed to be relaxing. My daughter's over there clicking, clicking, clicking on her little mouse thing. Yeah, I can hear it. <laughs> Breathe in. Breathe up. Relax. Nice. All doable. And do it again. Okay, so now this time, I'm getting down on the mat. So my left leg, I'm trying to stretch back here, leaning into it. So if you don't want to do this like this, you stay standing up. So what you want to do is almost like get into a lunge and then lean forward just a little bit. So line your hips up, nice stretch right in here. So you call it a kneeling lunge stretch. We did it standing up. The first time. All right, switch sides. Whichever leg you didn't do. So you want to lunge first. And then trying to stretch all back here. So is it Straighten your hips out. Yep. So if this bothers your knees, do a standing lunge. About 15 seconds. Could you give all right, now we did, next up we did the calves. So I'll do my right calf first with the heel down. And lean forward, but try to keep your heel down. 
you're doing it right, you should feel it in the back of your leg. Look up. You can lean against a wall. Don't give me love. Stay there, stay there. About 10 seconds. Don't give me love. Switch sides. Now my left heel is down on the mat. If you're leaning against the wall, press it down. You want to see the timer. Hang in there, hang in there. So right side, pat yourself on the back, you can, straight up, hold it, oh, there's a butterfly outside my window, about 10 seconds, you can do it. Hey, whichever side you didn't do. So now I'm doing the left. Straight up. Hold it. Hold it. seconds. You can do it. Fifteen seconds. So this is for your triceps. Okay, cat cow. This time I'm staying on the mat. your back, press it up, and then look up. So inhale, exhale. Okay, next I'm going to get all the way down and do that cobra. So this is good for your lower back. So it's up to you. You could do like a mini one and be like this. Or slide, you could come up just like this. Or slide your hands back and come up. This is really good for your lower back. Don't shrug your shoulders. Chin up. So now you're going to lie on your mat and take your left leg, cross it over with your other arm. So my left leg is crossed over, my left arm is out. So when we were standing, we did like a figure four, we did it this way, just another option. 
option to give you something different if you don't want to lie on the mat. So left leg, look away from the leg that's crossed over. So I'm looking at you guys. A few more seconds. Can make it over there? Okay, switch sides. So now I'm taking my right leg, crossing it over. My right arm is out. I'm looking towards my right arm. And just relax. In about 15 seconds. Just sit for a second. Reach up. And down, breathe. So I think it was about 11 exercises. I'll write it down for you guys. And it should just take about, like if we just did it once, it would only take about seven and a half minutes. So if we do do it twice, it should take less than 15 minutes. So what you guys could do, if you didn't want to get on the mat at all, just take the first part of the video and do that, and then go back to the beginning and do it again. So it shouldn't take us more than 15 minutes. And then you could do this, you could do this a couple times. Like a good, like spending about 20 minutes stretching is pretty good. So if you did it, wanted to do it three rounds or I'm so sweaty and gross. I'm sorry. I didn't have time. Depends on what I have before you guys. <laughs> I just had a Zumba class. So I'm all yucky. So we're hold, we're trying to hold each stretch for 30 seconds. Then there was like, maybe give you like 10 seconds to change positions. So I'd say 30, but 30 seconds. Whenever you're, if you're just stretching on your own, you wanna hold your stretches for like 20 to 30 seconds. Okay? So we'll do similar things. I might mix it up, I haven't decided. But I'll write up, there's like a list of different stretches and I just pick a certain amount of them. I think we did 11. I'll double check. And I'll give you a little cheat sheet. All right? Yeah. But yeah, like I said, you could do this three times. You don't need to do it more than four. Good. Yeah, just stretch. You could do it when you get up in the morning. You can do it before you go to bed. I'm hoping it will help relax me is why I'm doing it. And why are you doing it? I always ask people that too. Like I'm just doing, I want to improve my flexibility, of course, as always. And by holding those stretches, that's going to help with that. But also, I'm going to do it at night. Then I tried to pick calm music, but it started playing my something else. But anyway, all right, you guys, good job. 